Like I said, it doesn't really matter. I know you can see, look at that. I mean, that's just, this is like stealing right here. I mean, that's just insane. This guy here is supposed to cover back, uh, but he covers the drag. And then look, at that. I mean, that's not typically the look. You're not typically going to have where they're running into one another, but you're going to get that free release to the, to the Y route pretty much every time. <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some plays for you today out of the Saints playbook. I haven't put out a uh, too many plays this year from Saints. It's still one of the best passing playbooks in the game. And I'm going to show you guys uh, some passing plays out of the Empty Y Saint, which I'm pretty sure is like the Eagle Age Fork or something like that in customs. We're going to go ahead and get right into it. The Empty Y Saint. Um, is one of my favorite formations pretty much every year. Uh, one of my favorite plays is the Saints Fork. Now that play, um, they pretty much patched straight to death, so I don't really use that play anymore, but there's still a lot of really uh, explosive and glitchy plays out of this uh, particular formation. Uh, the play I'm going to start off with is really, you can start off with either one of these. I'm going to say the Saints Goes Whips is probably one of my favorites, although ultimately um, the Saints Under has a very similar effect. Now this play at his core has a very good cover two route on both sides. Uh, the B route here, you can see he just gets outside of any press that the cornerback might try to do. I pointed this out in my gameplays in the past. Um, ultimately, a lot of times these cornerbacks, you'll see it on the on the left side here, where this cornerback's going to bump this uh, receiver in. I'll go to the replay to uh, to highlight that a little bit better. Uh, but really, on, on the uh, on the right side, the cornerback, I'm sorry, the left side, the cornerback's going to do what they typically want to do, which is push the uh, the outside receiver in towards the safety. And that's really what makes that successful. On the other side, they want to do the same thing. But this release that that's, uh, I'll show you in a second, it's just a really uh, unique release, which it gets outside of pretty much any press, uh, which is really uh, helpful, especially when it comes to like cover, you know, any man coverage, which I'll show you in a minute. So, like I said, that route, the B route there, it just it gets around pretty much every time. You're going to need some space to make this throw to the sideline, but uh, you can see how successful that's going to be. So, uh, and if you have a fast enough guy, like I don't really have a speedster there, but if you have a fast enough guy, he can really get going. I might try to put my fastest guy there in a minute, but you can see, I mean, he's almost he's past the cornerback and he's almost past the safety. I mean, that's pretty much it. If you have man coverage looks like I have now, the Y route obviously is, uh, is set up for man. But you can see here, once again, that route, it, it, it beats every type of press so if you watch the uh, the B route the uh, the cornerback really just loses him right away and then you can make the exact same accurate you know pass to the sideline bullet pass leading outside and you're gonna beat that cover two uh, cover two man very easily for you know like I said that release is kind of glitchy because it, it beats just about anything the next play in this um, series is also uh, two plays that are very similar, that have very similar um, concepts as far as beating man cover two and man uh, and zone cover two. And that's going to be the Saints drag or the Saints corner. So all I really have to do for this play to work, like I said, it's going to be the same in the other play, is motion in the X route and put them on a streak. That's pretty much it. So whether it's cover two zone or man, this Y route will have success again. Um, the hardest part is catching and turning up field, but this is an easy one play touchdown. Uh, if you can make that that uh, that catch and run uh, and you know you got to make a good throw but ultimately I'm probably too close to the middle of the field if I was running this to the open side of the field it would be pretty easy so here like I said that that one there I can tell I'm probably gonna be gone if I didn't catch that sideline animation but try to run this one more time uh, as far as checkdowns go like I said the RB route um, is one is already a pretty good check down uh, you can just put them on a drag um, to make that, you know, official. The drag will actually help to uh, to get the Y route open faster when it comes to the cornerback if he, if he reads that. And then you can see right there, I mean, I'm getting good throws. I'm getting huge chunk plays. Um, but to really hit a home run out of this, you probably just have to run it to the side of the field. That's pretty much all it is. Um, because that's really what the issue is, is the sideline's coming up a little bit quick. So always run this to the open side of the field. Uh, like I said, I like to streak the tight end. I also like to re-drag uh, the RB route. And all those things are going to make for a really good check down. So here we go. Now we have a lot more space and we can get up the sideline. I keep catching that sideline. I don't know, man. Maybe you need a little bit of a faster receiver to, to hit the home run than what I have on uh, in New Orleans. Uh, but this is a really good play. So I'm going to do it one more time because I want that touchdown. So... <laughs> In me now. I want that. I want that touchdown. There we go. So like I said, it's really easy. You're, you're arcing it. You know, as long as you get the proper pass away from the safety, bullet pass lead away from the safety in the right timing, you can really it hit some easy touchdowns out of this play. 
Now the next play, I'll just pick the Saints corner to show you the same look, but ultimately now I'm going to be going against cover two, uh, man. So same uh, same idea, just motioning in Kamara here, putting him on a streak, um, just to pull safety back. You can also put the uh, the A route on a streak just to pull coverage, RB route on a drag for a check down. Pretty much the exact same setups, exact same play. We're utilizing the Y route. So the Y route here, uh, once he gets outside, um, he's just a good a good cover two man beater because unlike most routes, he gets behind it pretty quick. But if you watch the uh, if you watch the the replay, and I'll probably do that after this particular play. Uh, unlike streaks and other things, uh, the, the Y route immediately gets past the, the man coverage. As you can see, it's just the way it's designed. And you can see, I mean, it's still pretty tight coverage. I don't quite have the speed that I'm used to with this, but you can see how easily this is uh, to make uh, big plays. Even against cover two uh, man where there's typically a safety waiting over the top. That's what the streaks are for. The streaks are going to make sure those safeties stay back and stay out of the play. And then, like I said, the second that this play starts, you can see he immediately gets behind the coverage corner, which is not typical. And you know the saying, if he's even, he's leaving. That's exactly what's going to happen. He's even with him, so he's always going to have that position. And then, like I said, not quite the speed that I want, but you can see how I'm getting huge chunk plays uh, with this route, whether it's cover two man or cover two zone. One of the things that um, this can do this year that I really didn't do well last year is it's also a super glitchy cover three beater. So I'm going to motion over the tight end this time, put him on a streak, and the RB route, I don't know what happens on the coverage side there, uh, but you can see he completely bails. I'll go to the replay real quick. Uh, I'm, I'm going to run it a couple different times here, but watch what happens uh, with the coverage corners in this cover three. This guy here is supposed to cover back, uh, but he covers the drag, and then look at that. I mean, that's not typically the look. You're not typically going to have where they're running into one another, but you're going to get that free release to the, to the Y route pretty much every time to the outside like i said this is a cover three i know i'm not showing it but you can see we got the single high safety and you have the uh you know the, the the zones are what they are so let's do this one more time maybe we can get a little bit of uh a little bit of success but like i said these cover threes the way that they're uh they're, they're, they have a lot of a lot of bugs in them uh, these cover threes here so here we get a good throw like i said that's that's the way it should look nice and easy uh you know instantly broken touchdown and like i said they'll patch this pretty quick so one of the reasons if you motion over i mean you can motion over any of these guys but if you if you do that a lot of times the safety will be more centered which i don't really want but since sanders is a little bit faster let's go ahead and let's do him instead like i said it doesn't really matter and then you can see look at that i mean that's just this is like stealing right here i mean that's just insane it's the one of the fastest cover three beaters you're going to find in the game so like i said doesn't matter who you motion over for some reason, the alignment switches here, and then uh, the Y route's just running right past it. Which, hey, how could how could you how could you argue with that? So, like I said, this is a very glitchy play this year. Beats a lot of different coverages, a lot of different ways. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna end the video there. If you guys want to see more um, plays like this out of the Saints, I know a lot of people love the Saints. I mean, I got a full ebook in the in the description below. But other than that, if you want to see more actual videos on here, just hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching Manly Shit Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.